the next topic is procuring non stock material so the first question that you might have is what is a non stock material and of course the follow up question is why is procuring stock material or non stock material any different from one another let's explore that in our coffee shop we procure coffee beans we also procure stirrers is procuring coffee beans any different from procuring stirrers well purely from a logistics perspective they are not different maybe they require separate storage conditions separate packaging but beyond that purely from a logistics perspective they are not different the vendor loads them up in the truck the truck is unloaded at our warehouse and we go stock them in the respective storage locations so what really is different well for starters coffee beans represent a significant value 100 pounds of coffee beans say 10 dollar a pound 100 pounds of coffee beans is 1000 dollars but 100 quantity or 1000 quantity of stirrers is probably 10 or 20 dollars so there's a lot of difference in the value so purely in terms of stock keeping it doesn't make any sense to count the stirrers oh i got 1200 stirrers i got 222 stirrers does it make sense no it's just a waste of time and energy to count the value of stirrers or even the stock of stirrers and before we go any further since we are talking about a topic called valuation let's take a quick detour and understand what really is valuation